Local hockey leagues are answering a national call to ensure players' safety by requiring neck guards. Now, this change comes after a former NHL player died when an ice skate slashed his neck. Allison Martinez has the story. Neck guards have become a hot topic of conversation in recent days. Today I learned the local organizations now requiring them and how suppliers plan to keep up with the demand. Since former NHL player Adam Johnson's passing, discussions about safety on the ice have followed. But it definitely made me like value like not even just my life more, but just like being on the ice more because like it could be one second and you could be done and it's just, it sucks. In the five days following the accident, big changes have already been made both locally and nationally. So first thing this morning, I already had about five or six phone calls for everything about needing that guards and stuff. So Yesterday, the Spokane Chiefs announced that their league will now be requiring neck guards effective as soon as possible. The Spokane Braves and youth leagues like the Junior Chiefs have made the switch as well. Cody Smith co-owns Hockey Armor, the only hockey shop in Spokane and Kootenai County. We have a pretty good supply of them. Um, already today, though, um, a lot of people have been picking them up, so I'm getting a little low already, but we've tried to order some more already. Spokane Chiefs coach Ryan Smith says their league's decision to require neck guards shows initiative within the hockey community. What happened uh, could happen at any time uh, in practice, in a game, skating with your friends outside. I mean, it's, it's, it's really tragic, and uh, we hope to eliminate the next tragedy. I would wear a neck guard. I, I think I'm personally going to wear a neck guard myself, even though adult rec league doesn't require it. Just for what could happen, I, it's not worth it. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now.